Today, I'm going to show you how to install this first alert Z-Wave smoke detector and carbon monoxide alarm. It works just like a regular smoke carbon monoxide detector. If smoke or carbon monoxide is detected, then the siren will go off. The siren is extremely loud. I'm going to show you how to install it so that it will alert your phone or flash the lights in your house accordingly. In order to add it into your hub, myself, I'm using Home Assistant. So click on Configuration, go to Integration, go to Z-Wave JS and click Configure. Click on Add Device. Click on Advanced Inclusion. For whatever reason, I can never add it using the secure, if possible, method. So I'm going to use Legacy Secure. Search device. Now, in order to add it into Home Assistant, go ahead and press and hold this test button. Then slide the battery cover back in. When you hear a beep, release this test button. And then Home Assistant will add the device in. When Home Assistant is able to add the device in, you'll see all of these entities right here. The only thing that we care about is this for carbon monoxide. This is clear or off. And the other one you care is smoke detection. Right now it's clear or off. If anything changes, this will change from clear to detected or on. I have a bunch of smoke detectors, about nine in total, seven right now as of this video. Instead of creating that nine times, I'm just going to create it one time by creating groups. How do we create groups? Go ahead and click in the left side, File Editor. Click on a folder and choose Groups YAML. Here you can see all of my smoke sensors the entities for them, seven as of this video. And for the other one, you can see the carbon monoxide sensors. And I create another group for that. Go ahead and click on terminal, type in HA core restart to restart your home assistant. Now let's create an automation for it. Here you can see I already create the smoke alert in a name you can name it whatever you want here in the trigger you can see that we're using that uh, group that we just made for smoke don't worry about from you can leave it open to on you need to type in on o n for me, if the smoke sensors go off, then it's just going to notify my phone. So once again, this is the group sensors that we created for the smoke. Next, we're going to do an automation for carbon monoxide. It's basically the same thing. The name, you can name it whatever you want. Here in the trigger, you can see this is the group that we created earlier. And same thing for the actions. When the carbon monoxide go off, it will notify my phone via Telegram. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. Feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.